All right, guys, I'm back here with the smoke machine today. And so today I have a uh, EVAP leak I'm hunting for. I have a P0442. I thought I had fixed it one time in the past, but uh, by changing out my purge solenoid valve, but it was a faulty valve, but it did not resolve the issue. So let me show you what I'm gonna do here. First of all, if you take a look on here, see if I can get some focus here. I can make the camera focus here at all. Get uh, some light here. Let's see here. Okay, right, right here. If you see right here, that's the per solenoid valve right there. I've already taken a hose off of it, which is right here. All right, so what I'm going to do from how I'm going to tap into my EVAP system is that I have this thing here. Let me set this down for a second. This here is a, uh, is a EVAP. If I can get this in the focus. Everything doesn't want to focus today. I don't know why. Is an EVAP, if I can get this, amazing. It's called an EVAP port, uh, uh, port access adapter. <laughs> I, I swear, I don't know what's going on today with this camera. But anyway, this here is a, and the part number is, uh, will it come into focus or not? Is the part number is a uh, is a uh, CH four eight zero nine six. So how this works is that uh, because GM took service ports off, I'm pretty pretty sure probably all of their cars. You don't have a a factory made EVAP service port. So for the LLT and probably other engines, and I'm sure this might even fit other other versions of their engines. Um, they have this service port adapter here, and basically this end here goes on to this goes on to the purge solenoid valve. This end here connects to the hose coming from the evap line. It's coming from the purge uh, vent canister, and then once that's in there, you just unscrew this, and voila, you have a service port, and everything is nice and tight. And also, I got this here that once I install it, I'm going to screw this up here. So when I stick the um, smoke machine uh, uh, hose here, it, you know, all of the smoke will be going into this system. And then we are going to go to the back of the car, take a look and see around, look around the gas tank and look around the uh, filler neck to see if we see any signs of smoke all right, guys, so the first thing I'm going to do before I do anything, I'm going to go ahead and hit here and I'm going to access uh, the EVAP system and I'm going to um, close the vent valve to make sure that um, I mean, open it because you want to make sure smoke is getting all the way through the system. So we can go to ECM, enter to our front drive and we want to do actuation test, uh, evaporative emissions. And we want to do just a vent solenoid. And we want to close that. And we're going to hit. Uh, I'm trying to see that I hear it. And so it's venting right now. It says it is anyway. So, all right. So let's turn around here. Got the smoke machine fired up and ready to go. So let me go ahead and just cut everything on here. We got smoke coming out already. So just let me uh, uh, connect this right here to the system here. All right, before I move to the back, I just want to make sure I don't see any smoke coming from anywhere up here to make sure that this thing is nice and sealed. So let's go down here and take a look here. See what can we see? All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. What can we see? Any smoke here? Let's see if I see any smoke coming out of the purge vent valve here. I'll give it a few minutes because it should take some time probably to work its way to the back here. And then, while I'm waiting on that, we do have uh, this end of the filler neck here that looks a little. A little uh old but i don't know if it has anything to do with it and then uh 
Hold on, I see some smoke over some coming from somewhere. Okay, so that's smoke for sure. Some smoke is coming from up top here. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. I wonder if that could have vent valve is way over here. This is coming from this way here. I don't know if you can actually see what's going on here. Hope you can see, but I see some smoke. Can you see this smoke? Well, right, right here. Some smoke there coming from somewhere. All right, so that's coming from, look like this fuel filler neck is an issue here. Okay, let me, okay, let me go back this way a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, look at this. So it appears to be that the fuel filler neck here uh, is, is, is bad. All right. So, but, but the one thing we need to verify, let me go tell it to, um, let me go, um, tell it to stop venting first, just, to, just to make sure that there's no, um, that there's no, um, you know, issue with that. So let's just say not venting. All right. So let's go back under here. So wow, if I got to change this filler neck out, I've priced this thing, and believe it or not, for this car here, it is way more expensive for this filler neck if you get the real official one versus my 2017. Don't know why, but they're terribly pricey. But if I have to change it, all right, let's throw that smoke away. It looks like it's just keep coming. So it appears that it's somewhere right here as you can see here see that smoke coming from over here it's somewhere if i can get this light up in here okay somewhere you can see the smoke coming from here so it's right here in this area so this this uh so right here so may, maybe what i'm thinking is that this uh thing here that's metal and it's probably corroding got a hole in it that's what it is so yeah all right well, I guess I know what it is now and I have to, and I have to, uh, I got my work cut out. So I'm gonna have to price this and see if I can get this thing. And um, well, looks like I can take it out without having to take out anything. Cause this is kind of tight because of this heat shield right here. But um, I'm gonna see if I can source one of these some kind of way and um, go from there. Cause again, that's clear that is coming straight out of here, billowing out, just straight up billowing out of this little, this little bracket. Cause what this is, this here is a bracket. And I'm assuming that some kind of way on this bracket, probably some moisture has been held. But that's the, that's the other thing in the filler neck right there going to the top. And it's probably got, had got some moisture in there over time. And then eventually just ate away at it is what I'm assuming here. Cause I don't see smoke coming. I don't see smoke coming from anywhere else. Cause it would be obvious because much smoke is coming from here this is a small evap leak wow okay all right let me get up here again get away from under the car and uh just so everybody know got my jack stands and got jacks is back up on both sides of the car being safe and that's it so everything works out fine let's go ahead and cut this off the ansel comes through again I really like this thing. I'm so glad that I ended up getting it. With that said, um, it, there will be another part to this video. I don't know when, but I'm, I'm going to try to source this part. It's this filler neck. And um, again, from what I can tell, they're pretty pricey. I'm going to look one up on the screen. I'm going to look one up on the internet and I'm going to throw it up on the video so you can see how much it costs. But um, yeah, they're, they're not cheap for this car at all. So anyway, you guys take care. And there will be a follow-up to this video.